uh, who drive on the roads of India uh, would concur, which is that there needs to be an urgent uh, you know, push to uh, sensitize uh, Indian drivers and not just that and maybe actually push through with the fact of safe driving because uh, most of us on the roads are terrible, terrible drivers. But uh, Rajni Gandhi, would this also point out to the fact that there needs to be better patrolling where our highways are concerned, especially in terms of overspeeding? Because yes, in this case, Rishabh Pant says, uh, you know, he fell off, nodded off uh, on the wheel. It happened in the morning. There was a fog factor as well. Um, all of that aside, their prima facie, the clip also suggests that the car was at high speed. Yeah, Priti, I think uh, we need to consider all the points and I am still waiting for the uh, forensic post-crash investigation report, which is very important because uh, many people are or the people at the site have their different stories and they are telling something. Some have said that there are the porthole conditions also on the road and uh, it was also one of the reasons. But we cannot sure till the time we will not get the post-crash investigation report actually. And in case of the condition right now, we have, uh, uh, if we talk about the speed and everything, uh, like uh, our uh, other guest was also talking about uh, the speed and everything. So we need to consider that there is a speed and there is an over speed. If we talk about Mr. Cyrus Mystery uh, road crash also, so one of the factors was the over speed. We need to categorize these things. We need to find out in the investigation itself. Uh, there is a law uh, guidelines which say that under section 135 we have to uh, point out exact uh, issues uh, that why the crash has happened. So generally say by speeding or by just distraction but I say that distraction plus speeding it is just a cause of death. So we need to take care about that and when you have in such a situation when you are going to face fog or smoke like situation, we need to be cautious that how we are going to put it up and I think many of the authorities right now, I have been in touch with the, one of the I think uh, Noida authority or somewhere people who are, the authorities are already asking people to drive at some stretches at a lower speed. So this is required from the authorities mm -hmm. side also and one of the uh, another part is that enforcement. Are we actually missing the enforcement controlling the speed on our national highways? See, we are going to have very good infrastructure in coming days. Uh, uh, our uh, Honorable Minister is very much uh, uh, behind to get okay. a very good infrastructure for us. But what are we doing? How much the enforcement system is also equally making themselves comfortable so that such crashes will not happen? And along with that, as the Good Samaritan has played a major role over there, so what we are going to do the, in emergency situation? So, you know, uh, Preeti, I have a national road safety policy draft which was came into 2010 and we are into 2022. After that, the Sweden declaration has also gone and there is a need that we need to consider these all five pillars which are important and many times World Health Organization, okay. United Nations, everybody has said about and we ourselves also did uh, signing a declaration uh, people. So what are no. we doing actually? Are we considering our cities safe? We are talking about highway safety. Right. So are we keeping such a mentality of people that they have to drive So I would reckon yes, the onus, the onus is on us and there needs to be a larger amount of patrolling, also. especially where yeah. highways are concerned.